see as we get past T minus 40 seconds for final checks of the vehicle. India's premier space agency, Indian Space Research Organization, ISRO, has built a reputation for launching rockets into space at very convenient prices. The consequent effect? A lot of customers from around the world have come flocking to avail India's economical rocket launching services and this has helped the country make some extra bucks from its space exploration program. However, it's a pretty competitive space. Okay, you can Elon see Musk's the SpaceX has had a decent run in the past it's couple of recycled. days and the recent successful launch of the Falcon Heavy rocket has paved the way for launching heavy Flight satellites into space. SpaceX and ISRO are competitors of sorts in the, the business moment, of commercial we'll satellite launches. The, the question is, how big of a threat seconds. is SpaceX to India's to space agency? Okay, first to some facts. The nets, and we'll see if we can get you more information to share. India's premier space agency Indian Space Research Organization, ISRO, has built a reputation for launching rockets into space at very convenient prices. The consequent effect? A lot of customers from around the world have come flocking to avail India's economical rocket launching services and this has helped the country make some extra bucks from its space exploration program. However, it's a pretty competitive space. Elon Musk's SpaceX has had a decent run in the past couple of days and the recent successful launch of the Falcon Heavy rocket has paved the way for launching heavy satellites into space. SpaceX and ISRO are competitors of sorts in the business of commercial satellite launches. The question is, how big of a threat is SpaceX to India's space agency? Okay, first some facts. India's premier space agency Indian Space Research Organization, ISRO, has built a reputation for launching rockets into space at very convenient prices. The consequent effect? A lot of customers from around the world have come flocking to avail India's economical rocket launching services and this has helped the country make some extra bucks from its space exploration program. However, it's a pretty competitive space. Elon Musk's SpaceX has had a decent run in the past couple of days and the recent successful launch of the Falcon Heavy rocket has paved the way for launching heavy satellites into space. SpaceX and ISRO are competitors of sorts in the business of commercial satellite launches. The question is, how big of a threat is SpaceX to India's space agency? Okay, first some facts. John Innsbrucker again here at the Hawthorne webcast desk. We're holding a T minus 40 seconds. What we've heard so far is we have a couple of issues we're working. One is the booster tank pressurization. Uh, final pressurization was just a little bit uh, long. That's not unusual. We've held a T minus 40 seconds before to pressurize. That appears to have been resolved. At the same time on the second stage, they're working some final purging. Uh, we should know very shortly if that is cleared and if we'll continue the countdown. Everyone, especially that person, is excited <laughs> to keep going. <laughs> like John said, we should know shortly um, if we are able to continue. Uh, but as we mentioned before, we are able to hold uh, up to 15 minutes and still be able to lift off today. Yeah, on Falcon 9, it's a little bit different. Once we start propellant loading, we pretty much have to go at the targeted time. Otherwise, the propellants can warm up and we may not have the performance for that particular uh, mission profile. It's a little bit different on and Starship. Folks, if I can interrupt, yeah. it looks like they're clearing all the flags and we're going to release at T minus 40 seconds. That is amazing news. Amazing. <laughs> Team working quickly through their issues on first and second stages. And I'm sure all of the rehearsals uh, and simulations that they've been doing have prepared them to evaluate this data quickly to try to get us in for today's launch attempt. For those of you just joining, we have a brief hold um, at the T minus 40 second mark. Uh, the team is resolving one issue with the bleed purge on the stage two Raptors. Um, like John just said, the teams are quickly working that and it looks like the flags are being cleared as we speak. So we should be able to resume the launch countdown any moment now. And it's worth noting on Starship that once we resume the countdown, it restarts from the 40 second period and then we keep exactly. going unless another condition pops up. So stick around because <laughs> uh, 
Starship could be going here real soon. <laughs> Don't walk away, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing views here coming to us from Starbase, Texas. Uh, <laughs> Reports first stage engines nominal. What a sight when the ground cameras at Starbase. We're flying at twice the thrust of the Saturn V heading to space. We're throttled down and throttled back up. Going through the period of maximum aerodynamic pressure. As the velocity increases, the density of the atmosphere is decreasing. Max Q. Lessening stress on the vehicle. The call out, Max Q now. <laughs> Continuing to watch the first stage as we head down range. hundred seconds into flight. Our next major activity is going to be shut down of the first stage. Houston tracking station now acquiring the vehicle. With shutdown, we will get separation of Starship and Super Heavy and ignition of the Starship engines. When Starship separates, we light up six engines in a staggered sequence. And if all goes well, those six engines will burn for almost six and a half minutes. Onboard view from Starship. Views of the Raptor engines on the second stage as we prepare for stage separation. Now, after stage separation, the first stage will flip and begin a boost back maneuver for landing in the Gulf. Continuing to fly, two minutes 40 seconds. Let's get ready for main engine cutoff. Beginning the flip for stage separation. India's premier space agency, Indian Space Research Organization, ISRO, has built a reputation for launching rockets into space at very convenient prices. The consequent effect? A lot of customers from around the world have come flocking to avail India's economical rocket launching services and this has helped the country make some extra right bucks now, from its space exploration program. Separation. However, it's a pretty competitive space. Elon Musk SpaceX has had a decent run in the past booster. couple of days and the recent successful launch of the Falcon Heavy rocket has paved the way for launching heavy yeah, satellites right into now, space. Like SpaceX and flight, ISRO are competitors of sorts in the business the of commercial satellite launches. The, the question is, rotate, how big of a threat is SpaceX to India's space agency? Obviously, this is, okay, uh, does first not some facts. To be a nominal situation. India's yeah, premier space agency, Indian Space Research Organization, ISRO, that has built a reputation for launching rockets into space at very convenient prices. Icing on the, cake. the consequent effect? A lot of customers from around the world have come flocking to avail India's economical rocket launching services, and this has helped the country make some extra bucks from its space exploration program. 
However, it's a pretty competitive space. Elon Musk's SpaceX has had a decent run in the past couple of days and the recent successful launch of the Falcon Heavy rocket has paved the way for launching heavy satellites into space. SpaceX and ISRO are competitors of sorts in the business of commercial satellite launches. The question is, how big of a threat is SpaceX to India's space agency? And the Starship vehicle. Okay, first some facts. Are you there of our control center India's at premier Starbase, space agency, Indian Space uh, Research Organization, ISRO, <laughs> has built a reputation for launching rockets into space at very convenient prices. As we prices. said before, obviously the we consequent wanted to effect. make it all the way through. A lot of customers <laughs> from around the world have come far, flocking honestly, to avail India's economical amazing. rocket launching. <laughs> Well, if you're just joining us, Starship just experienced what we call a rapid unscheduled disassembly or a rud during ascent. But now this was a development test. This is the first test flight of Starship. And the goal was to gather the data and, as we said, clear the pad and get ready to go again. So you never know exactly what's going to happen. But as we promised, excitement is guaranteed. And Starship gave us a rather spectacular end to what was truly an incredible test thus far. Now, as we mentioned at the start of today's program, any and all the data that we collected during the test is going to help us with further development of Starship, and it's going to improve the vehicle's reliability as SpaceX seeks to make life multiplanetary. It's really worth noting that the flight path was designed to be over water and all the air and sea space along with that flight path and those surrounding areas were cleared in advance of the test. And of course, we're going to be coordinating with local authorities for the recovery operations. But honestly, what an exciting morning. Oh my gosh. <laughs> we had a successful liftoff from Starbase, Texas at 8.28 a.m. Central Time. Uh, we cleared the tower, which honestly was our only hope. <laughs> we cleared the tower and all the data that we collected all the way through um, the all those Raptor, those 33, although I think we saw that three Raptor engines were out, um, but we got all that data and I, we got so far as to hoping to see the, the Starship, the second stage separate from the first stage the super heavy booster and unfortunately we didn't make that happen but that's okay it was the first integrated launch um, and honestly today was amazing <laughs> Absolutely incredible day. Uh, we made it through a number of those initial uh, test objectives with getting booster ascent, getting all the way through the countdown, working some issues yep. at the end. Like, Total really fantastic time. day. Got through the gate of T minus 40 seconds on the second try. Everything released, the hold downs, the quick disconnect arms, yep. everything moves out of the way. And then we got the vehicle off of the pad through max Q all the way up to stage separation, even starting into the prep for stage step. And then, as we say, a lot of excitement. Yep. <laughs> Honestly, my face has had a smile on it since liftoff, and now my face hurts. <laughs> now, since we don't have any insights on the cause of our rapid unscheduled disassembly at this point, we're going to end our webcast here. Teams will continue to review the data and work toward our next flight test. But before we go, a big congrats to the entire SpaceX team on an exciting first integrated flight test of Starship. And of course, a shout out to our viewers. We appreciate you joining us. And as always, we thank you for your interest in Starship. SpaceX's goal is to clear the pad. <laughs> Every milestone beyond that is a bonus. The further we fly, the more data we can collect. Now, if it does all go well, then we'll expect the Super Heavy to light up its 33 Raptor engines at the base of the vehicle and lift off, clear the pad away down from Starba uh, in, in Starbase, Texas. And then it'll go into ascent. About three minutes into its ascent, we're gonna expect to see Super Heavy separate from the Starship. It'll perform a flip maneuver, and then it'll execute a boost back burn, and we're gonna be targeting a hard landing in the Gulf of Mexico. And while that's happening, we hope to see Starship's six second stage engines ignite and watch as Starship coasts for about an hour at altitudes ranging between 150 and 250 kilometers before re-entering Earth's atmosphere and make its own hard landing in the Pacific Ocean about 250-ish kilometers offshore. Now, we are not really expecting many camera views after separation. Uh, that is to say, if we even make it that far. <laughs> um, but we do promise that whatever views we do have, we will bring them.